My name is Ellington Purcell and I do spoken word poetry. Not a lot of people know what that is, but that's okay, that's okay. <laughs> yeah, um, so I've written a couple of pieces and one of them was called Rebel. It's mainly directed to, toward young people, but some of the not so young people could take away a piece of the message too. And I hope at the end of this, it blesses your heart. So, here goes. I am a rebel. And as controversial as that may sound, my stance will never be wavered because the justification of my statement lies not in the characteristics of who I am, but in the pattern set in place by the son of the I am that I am a rebel. You see, Jesus was and is what I am trying to be, a rebel in every aspect of the word because he did not allow his culture to shape him to the man that he was going to be, but instead being the man that he was, he shaped his culture. He did not follow their patterns, but gave them new patterns to pattern their patterns after. He saw their laws and said that it wasn't good enough, so he gave them new laws that wasn't good enough, but was good, period. He maintained his composure in the face of temptation even after fasting for over a month and a half to get filled being fully God. He had strength and power but chose not to exercise. He had authority but chose not to emphasize. He refused to bow his knees while being tempted by the master hustler himself. That's right, you heard me. I said the master hustler himself. Because only a smooth criminal would steal what's yours and sell it back to you with a cheaper price. Call him Michael, because his purpose is to jack sons out of their rights. And it doesn't matter if you're black or white, no matter what you do to moonwalk your way out of it in your own strength, you can never beat it. Now ain't that a thriller? And if you didn't know before, then let me be the first to tell you that the rights to this world belongs to the devil. He has the right to do wrong, so he inverts, making the wrong look right. He hides good in the darkness and shines evil with light. He rewrites the rules and uses them as chains to keep you bound. But these rules are meant to be broken. His system is designed to control your every move like a puppet on a string. But I am a rebel, and I will not be squeezed into your plastic molds. I am an intellectual being. I will not be controlled like a mindless doll you see the devil is a hunter and his weapon is s i n satan's intricate net and like a spider he handcrafts his complex net but i will not allow my hands and feet to get entangled in his world wide web i am a rebel not a toy to be played with you try to package and seal me i burst through your box you chain me like an animal i break open your locks i'm high enough as it is so you can keep your pots and i'm sober minded so don't try to offer me shots i would not be conformed to the patterns of this world those are the thoughts of a rebel I will not let my actions be dictated by the culture I grew up in but instead I will pattern my actions after the patterns of Jesus but the problem with that was his patterns are righteous but in my mind my patterns are right ish so in order to be like him i would have to change my actions and trans means change so i have to make a transaction where i exchange my sin for his righteousness i am a rebel because he made me not because he remade me into himself i am the i am that i am and i refuse to let you take that away from And if you think that getting drunk on the weekends and disrespecting authority figures makes you a rebel, then I figure that you better start thinking again because the truth is you're not rebelling against anything. Nah, you're conforming to everything. But a rebel does things that nobody else is doing, like reading the Bible. Because let's be honest, people are hardly doing that these days. Can I get an amen? And my generation is bought into the lie that they can't exist in today's world without conforming to the system's ways. But don't buy it to the young men 
I say to you, you are more than just a statistic, more than just a virtual clone of the system, more than what society makes you out to be. You are a leader, a son of the sun. Grab your shades, it's time to start shining. To the young women, I say to you, you are more than just a pretty face and a nice body. There is a greater purpose for you. You don't have to wear powdered on the mask to look pretty or beautiful. And the media knows that. That's why they will make up lies to mask scare you away from the truth. They will sell you all these cosmetic products in an attempt to conceal you from their fate. Then eye line you the way they want you to go. Then use their hair weave nets to lipstick you into their system. But don't buy it. You don't need lip balm or a blush brush to make yourselves look pretty for guys to die over you. Nah, because there's a guy who literally died for you even without your makeup on. We are in this world, but we are not of it. This generation is designed to keep us down and the system is dragging us to hell. But the time has come where we have to make a stand for what we believe in. We have to say no to conforming to this world's culture and system. It's time to start a revolt and join forces in building each other up, not tearing each other down. Divided we fall, but united we stand. It's time to start a revolution. It's time to rebel, rebel.